Shalom. Before I start, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, for Chach Rosh, the honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim, Wak Wakim, learning and teaching in truth and sincerity. And this is going to be another video through the Spirit. I'm going to let this clip play. All right, and basically, what we're seeing, you know, now um, in, the, in the United States, the way that politics is being mixed into every fabric of life. Uh, you know, a fulfillment of scriptures which will be taking place. The mighty men of Babylon have foreborn to fight. All right, see, this man, Esau Edom, he, he's used to being the devil all the day long to everybody. But now all these laws are in place, which ultimately the Heavenly Father has put it in his spirit to set up laws that are contrary to himself because it gives us, the Israelites, the liberty to go out there and preach. So now his police, you know, his military, they can't just as much as they want to, they can't just go around completely abusing their power because they can suffer jail time. So now what you're seeing is a mass exodus of the police force. All right, here in Detroit, I saw a sign, you know, it said that they're looking for police officers to hire police officers. Starting pay is over 20 an hour. And after five years, you'd be making over 30 an hour uh, with a lot of vacation time and no college required. Why? Because nobody wants to sign up to work for this man's devil force, all right, because of things like this. Let's let this clip play. Police riot squad that fought to keep order on the streets of Portland, now after one of their own, ended up indicted for allegedly assaulting a protester. All 50 members of the team have resigned. Jim Ray has details. Mass resignation. Right there, you know, I'm gonna let this whole clip play, but right there you had one SWAT member, he pushed a news lady to the ground, clearing her out of the way, which, you know, it was excessive force, but in all actuality, the SWAT, when the SWAT shows up, they're, they're allowed to do uh, a little bit more than the average police officer. You know, SWAT are usually considered riot control, so they're allowed to rough you up. But now, you know, I guess they're getting on the SWAT's head, and so one of their guys went to jail for it, and so that whole squat force quit. So now that's over 50 less officers in that district policing. You know, so now that's, that's a lot more... Uh, you know the crime rate the crime rate can go up because that's that many more officers that aren't out there you know uh punishing people as 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 they see it why because this man his his system is going down all right let's let this play out the scripture in a minute the entire riot squad responsible for keeping order in the city of portland oregon which has been racked by so much violence say they've had enough now all 50 of them are quitting in protest after one of their own was indicted. Video shows the officer pushing a woman to the ground with his baton during a Black Lives Matter protest 10 months ago. Then he shoves her again. Officer Corey Budworth has now been charged with misdemeanor assault. The police union calls him a decorated public servant caught in the crossfire of a politicized criminal justice system. They the crossfire of a political uh, criminal justice system. All right, so let's get this scripture. Because now all this politics, all this politics has been going on. So now they can't just belly club your head in how they used to. See, back in 1952, if you just said something out of pocket, they just pulled out the billy club and got you together. <laughs> all right, but the Heavenly Father has worked the spirit in them to change a little bit. We're going to get Jeremiah 51 and 33. It says, The mighty men of Babylon have foreborn to fight they have remained in their holds uh it says their might hath failed they became as women they have burnt her dwelling places her bars are broken all right so the mighty men of babylon represents its uh basically its military police you know complex the teeth of the uh uh, uh of basically of the beast you know the soldiers that are actually out there on the ground shooting the guns and, and pulling the triggers and pressing the buttons these would be considered the mighty man of babylon of today's time and now they're foreborn to fight those officers quitting shows that they didn't want to fight anymore because they didn't want to suffer the consequences if they use too much uh power which the beast is, is known for all right when does esau ever exercise discretion all right a wild beast is known for going ham on you animals aren't a, a 
when you see a lion, do you see a lion fight at 10% or is it always on 10, as Jake say? You know, I'm on, I'm on 10, I'm on 10. Well, that's how Esau does. But now, you know, he can be punished for it. So they decided to resign because they don't want to suffer that backlash. All right, them remaining in their holds. Imagine you, you have men going to war. You know, instead of them getting off their horses and charging the battlefield, they decide to stay in the camp. They say, man, you know what? No, fuck that. We're not going out. You know, that's what that means. They became as women. All right, they're weak. Their might hath failed. They're no longer out there. They don't, they, they don't want to be out there uh, beating up people no more. All right, they don't want to go to jail. All right. Her bar, her bars are broken. They no longer, they don't have the defense that they used to. You know, they will get in trouble for trying to mess with you. Their strength, their their, their strength is gone, and that's what we're uh, seeing slowly but surely, which picks up with this scripture. Out of Second Esther, uh, chapter twenty-four, verse one. And I'll go back to the video. Second Edges fifteen and. Why this is gonna occur? Actually, we'll start up right here at 15. Law and order will go out the window. All right, second edge is 15, and 15 it says, "For the sword and their destruction draw off nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hand." All right, so people will be out here warring against each other, nationality versus nationality, friend versus friend, neighbor versus neighbor. All right, old versus young so-called black versus so-called white uh, Democrat versus Republican people are going to be out here it's going to look like the purge straight up cannibalizing, killing, raping murdering, decapitating however, whatever form of death they see fit alright, when modern day swords is the guns so in, in any convenient weapon of destruction verse 16 it says for, this, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another they shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Con, so people will be literally running up in people's homes, killing one another. And it says they will not regard their kings nor princes. Meaning what? The, hey, the mighty men of Babylon will be considered kings and princes. Some of the overseers of America, all right, of the beast system, they're no longer being regarded. All right, that's why, hey, the, the hatred for police is at an all-time high. People straight up will just will spit at a cop or look down on a cop. Uh, look down on politicians, you know, even though they're over us and running, you know, they're pulling some of the strings, but people hate them. All right. It says in the course of their actions, they'll stand in their power. Why? Because there isn't going to be any more police force to stop them. There isn't going to be a consequence if you go and rob somebody or you go and dome somebody's shit. No one's going to show up to stop you. Why? Because these, hey, these motherfuckers is quitting. They, got family they say it was a permissible oh, use of force, but the DA is defending the arrest. Nobody's above the law. It applies to everybody, and, and that's what this process is for. The woman in the video is a photographer named Terry Jacobs. She says she was attacked despite carrying a press card. Cops say she was involved in the disturbances. She was not charged and won a $50,000 civil settlement. Today, a city that has faced so many nights of rioting and protests is left to wonder what happens next. The deputy chief of police says despite the officers resigning from the riot squad, they remain on regular patrol and could still be deployed to respond to protests. So they they resigned, but the you know the, the city they're trying to say, oh, we can still call them out. Man, they ain't finna respond to that. You call them and they're going to disappear. All right, the mighty men, hey, uh, let me see. It tells you today. All right, I'll get this out of Isaiah 13 and 7. Yeah. Ultimately, uh, the mighty men being weak, it's tying in dealing with World War III because America, you know, is going to have to deal with its first uh, international invasion by other, by other military powers. All right, that's going to be the ultimate foregoing of this bitch all right isaiah 13 and 6 it says how ye for the day of the lord is at hand it shall come as a destruction from the almighty therefore shall all hands be faint and every man's heart shall melt all right so everyone's gonna be in his bitch you know tuck tailed all right you know here it is a hey, esau he's he's the me he, he's superman he's iron man he's thor He's this character, he's that character, he's everybody in history, and when shit gets real and hits the fan, this nigga gonna be, he gonna be shook. 
because that's when he's going to realize, man, we, hey, it's the end of his kingdom. And that's what these devils are starting to feel in their spirit. Something ain't right in this world. You know, they don't have the power uh, that they used to over us. All right. And over, like it tells you in Obadiah, hey, this man, he exalts himself at the, as the eagle, but now he's coming down. And it's time to come down, and he's coming down hard, y'all. So just a real quick video, I came across that little clip. I wanted to uh, highlight it just to show you. You know, things are, we might not see everything that goes on, but every the Heavenly Father, you best trust and believe that these prophecies are all being fulfilled and all working in the shadows or just in areas that you might not necessarily you know be looking you know you may not have heard of inside edition news but they, they just put up some prophecy so everything that these scriptures says is going to happen y'all we just have to wait be patient stay diligent because the end of this bitch will come all right so i'm gonna give all praises to yahweh bahashim yahweh shine bahashim rakakurash double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone peace blessings and salutations to all the elect akim wa akwathim lenny teaching in truth and sincerity and i'm gonna say shalom